Welcome, fellow Lushes. Come on in, pull up a bar stool, and enjoy some cocktails with Dimples and the Beard. I told you to buy one of those. We were somewhere, and I'm like, you need one of those pipes. <laughs> and, and I did, you bitch. You didn't tell me. I wanted to surprise you oh, sweet all right i'm gonna start the clock surprise i'm gonna turn on the tavern the tavern is sorry do it again i thought you'd keep stealing your fucking line fuck say it say it say it the pipe is open boom boom <laughs> See, isn't that cool? It's just that the pipe to hold it like that, and just the we're back from Belize, baby. And I am smoking weed out of a pipe. It's a good looking pipe. Look at that dude on top, that Jamaican dude, a Rastaman. Yeah, he's oh, geez, he's going to town. He's going to town, and then he's gonna go downtown on me. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's a cool guy. I do like the pipe. I got so it. I, I, I wanna... do like the pipe. Look at him go. Get him out there. Get yeah. There. So we, yeah, no, I like it. We're going to leave him right here. Um. So that is a, that is a hand carved, hand painted wooden pipe straight from the island of Belize. The island? Brought, yeah. Brought back. This, do that. It's an island. Brought back this year. And uh, we just talked about that. It's not an island. It's more fun if we tell people they have island. islands. But we're gonna we're, go island hopping sometime. We are next year. Um, but I also want to say, I need you to be serious before I do this. Before we really get into this episode, uh, we lost a great one. Oh, I well, they didn't know you're diving right in. I apologize because that. No, that's right. That's why right I wanted in. you to. No, that's why I, I waited. Had I known, we lost a great one. Um. We did just this past weekend. Peta from Unity, who's been, you know, graced our podcast a couple times. He did. And uh, sadly, fucking cancer got him. But I got a. And he, and he was. I, a, I don't I don't know how much of a weed smoker he was anymore, but I got to say, this thing just reminds me of him. Yep. And it's going to sit here in honor. And uh, it's uh, so dedicated to you, Peta. We lost a great one. This episode Fuck. is de- dedicated to him. And Our, he was, yes, he was a great front man. He was, he was, he was just a great person. He he was so generous with his time. Um, part of our TBI team and helping us launch our first uh, rock show. He was a huge part. He was, he was, he was the driving, meaning when we were skittish and afraid. well, maybe, and we're, yeah, we we're afraid and this is too big and not. And he was just, nope, nope, you can do it. Nope. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, we pulled it off and we're, and we're off and running. So it, it would not be without his his uh, push and his dedication and uh, everything he did for us. So, yeah. Yeah. And as, as amazing he's, as he was on stage in front of Unity, he was uh, even more amazing off stage. And uh, that man uh, walked love. Yeah. He walked love. Um, just the, the, the smile. And my quick story is I went and saw him New Year's Eve up in Sister Bay. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, he needed to be helped to the stage. He sat the whole time, but he smiled nonstop. He was in heaven. He just loved being on stage and around music. And no matter what he was feeling that night, he just never stopped smiling. Yeah. And it, you could feel it. So RIP. RIP, Peter. Yep. So love you, man. So, yeah, we're back from Belize. We spent another week on that fine island. And, uh, did a lot of <laughs> well fine we were on the peninsula it's not an island but we were on a peninsula our strip of land is like this wide oh, yeah we just got dug there's going. water on each side it's practically an island just got dug going yeah that's, I just, what, that's why i'm cracking up as we're as we're saying I, I just got a message from nicole travolta um if you don't know who that is you will um travolta 
So let's do a little, let's, let's recap that trip. We, uh, our second year there. And, uh, yeah, I said, I, I said, I've said to people, um, <laughs> what, what did you say? I didn't say anything. I'm just thinking about the trip and, oh. and, 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 uh, sometimes I just make myself laugh. I said, I've said to people about the trip. I said the, the first year I, I fell in love. I fell in lust with police, with the police. <laughs> I felt like police police were some they're awesome. sexy men. Yes. I fell in I fell in lust with Belize. And by them leaving us alone is when we fell in love with them. And this year I fell in love with Belize. Oh next year I'm gonna marry Belize. And you the year after that, Belize is gonna have my babies. Well, you did get married in Belize. I did kind of get married in Belize. Yeah. Yes. We're married when we go to Belize, though. That's right. that's our rule. We can't cheat. On each other when we're in Belize because we're back home. Oh, you're yeah. single here and ready to mingle. Here it's free game. I'm headed to Hito. Um, we gotta we gotta figure that one. Out. Uh, we gotta figure out how we talk them into that one. Uh, just saying. Rotate. Ah, uh, Belize. So so oh, yeah, it was a, it was a it was another sixteen. I want I want to talk about my glorious. Oh well. All right. Well, I'm just gonna start from the beginning. I want to oh, talk about the. The first highlight of of the trip for me was go taking that little puddle jumper from Belize City over to Placencia Maya Air. Oh, I'm going to tag you guys in this because I follow them on Instagram. Oh yeah, okay. And they provided a beautiful trip, two thousand feet above the ground, and a little fourteen seat Cessna. Where you got to see Belize and all its beauty from up there, and uh, I recommend to anybody who goes down there, who's gonna heading down that way, to jump on that little plane. It's it's, it's beautiful. I can't second that. You were on the ground, so you were with Ricky. Oh, Ricky, you're so the fun. I'll do a shout out to Untamed Belize that shuttled on my ass from Belize City to our place. Untamed. And we last year was three years, three hours. Yeah. Two hours and ten minutes this year, Ricky. And back to the we beat two you, hours. Well, you you and you beat us to the the place, but we did. That's only because we missed our plane. That's fine. Now it would have been nice, but unfortunately, uh, my traveling companion did not does not like flying, and we did not do the puddle jumper, and that's fine. The, the I I bring it up because Ricky and is so fine. He is so fine. Without even asking, he was the whole trip. Nonstop information about his country. He was very proud of his country. He told us so much. It was uh, it was fun. It was fun. He made the trip fun. He has a country to be proud of. He did, and which I could say the same. Recommended him, and we'll get into that further um, of another highlight of mine later. Oh, all right. So day one. It wasn't day one. So day one, we uh, we 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 meet at the Airbnb after after Lee and I miss our flight because we're too busy drinking beer um we meet at the airbnb so typical we set bags down and we quickly head off to hobbs because daddies want a dirty banana oh and we're not talking about anal sex yet that came later in the week. <laughs> we're talking about the drink i'm still sorry so um well I, yeah it's worth going to because uh, the d- dirty banana is delicious. The dirty banana at high, and I and I and I needed a cigar, and I got my cigar, which I s- did not smoke, but I have at home now. Okay, well, you smoked. I did smoke one. You smoked one part half a night yeah. or half a place. Half a half a half a half a. But those are on the the list of the drinks to get at Hobbs. Dirty banana. Dirty banana. And we'll get into it. At, all right, I gotta do it right. Ink. No uh, inkies. No. No. We all made a pledge Inksies. that last night that we were in Belize that fuck the name. We were calling it Inksies from now on. In honor of me? You did that for me? Because you, you did. You did. You did. Because you don't know how to say. I thought it was funny to say Inksies. So I, I yeah, saying. that's how it started. Okay. Inksies. For their uh, blended mojito. Blended toasted coconut. Hobbs has a blended mojito. Mojito. Inksies is three times better. Not three. The same as bad, but it was just better. Hobbs, I disagree. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not angering my friends on a barge in Belize. I think it was bad. It was still good. I, well, saying something is three times better than something else. Not too much. Yeah, I would say. Place is good. Yeah, okay. sure. 
Just good. it's better. It's better. Look, Hobbs has perfected the dirty banana. Yes, that's In- why I'm suggesting go there for the dirty banana every time. Inksies has perfected the toasted coconut blended mojito. Kisses. Even if somebody is like, don't put so much toasted coconut on mine. <laughs> it's a toasted coconut mojito. Toasted coconut. It was. You didn't want the toasted coconut. Why don't you just order a mojito? Not a little toasted. <laughs> I want just a touch of toasted. Ah. I want to touch of toasted on top. I just have to. You you go. No, I'm not. So, I'm not hitting it so again. That was, just... that was. Oh, you're just gonna hold it? Yeah, I don't blame you. So that was our, which will be Hobbs cocktail. So what we did? What will be? Will be. We did a cocktail of the day. Cocktail of the day. So every day we introduce a cocktail of the day, and Hobbs was day number one. All right, all right. Welcome to. <laughs> Welcome to day one of Cocktails with Dimples in the Beard. I almost said it again. Cocktails with Dimples in the Beard. Son of a... Bowie style. Cocktail of the live. day. Live. We're not live. We're not live. Well, we are drinking live. We are live. But... So the first cocktail of the first day Which of our... Is... I don't know. Is it your favorite? Is this your favorite? So far. Well, I mean, we're it's our first day. And That's true. So far. We're at Hobbs Brewing Company drinking some dirty... Banana. Are they monkeys or bananas? I think they're both. We like dirty banana. Dirty banana is a better name. Who but they call like, them. Who doesn't look like a dirty banana? I think we're looking to dirty our bananas. But they call them dirty monkeys. So, so check them out. Holy cow. We're at Hobbs Brewing Company in Placencia. There's a plane taking off behind us. We were on that yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Did you fear for your life? Did I fear for my life on that little puddle jumper? No. No? No. Soak up before you went? No. I kept. No. No? The weed consumption on the way here was so bad. Minimal? I didn't. Are you, are you disappointed in yourself? <laughs> yeah. I really wanted to be high for all of the flights, and I was not even remotely high for any, for any of it. All I was was leftover high from the night before. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Uh, not take the plane, so I don't know. You should have been on that plane. That's all right. It's a for unique, another day. Yeah, it's a unique experience. Another day, know. another drink. Fourteen seater. <laughs> Wait, was it one, two, three, four, five, six? Ten seater. It was this big. And if you, I if it went up this far, I got the ground. My goal for next year is to lose 150 pounds, so I'm skinny enough to be the co-pilot. I lost like seven pounds for this trip. <laughs> now I gotta lose. Doubled another. it back. <laughs> One day. Now I, gotta, now I gotta lose another hundred and fifty. <laughs> I want to be the co-pilot. That looks like they're two skinny little bitches. But well, why, why don't you take lessons for a year and then you can just oh, fly your own plane? Oh, we, oh yeah, I could do that. I could do that. So we get a cocktail and dimples. We get a cocktails and dimples plane. Cocktails and dimples plane. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I'll be your co-pilot. You couldn't do this without the beard. Everybody would know you're gay. <laughs> you know, you know I'm gay. Would you have a beard? Because I have a beard. Wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> your beard would be a woman. That's right. Oh, you brought a beard. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Didn't want the I'm all with a beard. All right. Who is the real beard? So we keep these short and sweet. I just want day one. Cocktail of the day. Cocktail so, of the day. Think, every day. I think, yeah, every day. I think at the end we'll we'll, we'll rate them. We'll figure out uh, mm. which one was the best. If nothing, not rate them, but just which one was the best. This one is going to be... It's, gonna, it's up there. It's going to be tough to beat this one, yeah. but we're going to try. We're going to definitely try, and I got one that I, I'm excited to try to... That might be I'm not saying. That's a secret. Don't tell. They'll get there before us. But I'm thinking uh, the best part is the ones we're going to try along the way. We've already had some good ones today, not going to lie. No, but I gave them earlier today better than the dirty banana. No. Right. No. The dirty banana. I came back to Belize just for this drink, to be quite honest. So, so right now, dirty bananas, number one. It's number one. It's rated number one. Way to go, Hot Brewing Company. Hot Brewing Company for the dirty banana. Our next venture, which we 
we went to several times because it was such a beautiful bar on the bar on Hobbs the sea. No, not no. Oh, um, another stop for cocktail of the day. You're gonna have to remind me. Malula, Malula. Ma is it Malulo or Malula? <laughs> I think it was Malula. Malula, which. Which was uh, day one of the days when we drove down. They were closed, but I might have missed it. But I anyway, we just missed them. We were there almost every day. They were they were down the road, on on the sea. You, you could not far, uh, and and wonderful drinks. It was the perfect. Just sit back and just sit there and just. What like, cocktail see. did we? Sea breeze. The sea breeze. I didn't know if we panty. You ripped didn't it. have you didn't have a sea breeze in. Oh, but I said I did. No. Oh, did so? Did, remember, did we do different cocktails? We did. Oh yeah, we could have. Okay, I don't remember. I'll have to watch the footage, which will happen right now. Day one, cocktail of the day. What is it? It's a tropical yeah. mai tai. Where are we? Malayo. <laughs> Malula. Mal Ma, ma, say it with me. Ma, no, say it with me. Ma, ma Lu, Lu, La, Malula, Cocktail of the day. Here we go. So far, best regular of the day is what? Who knows how long It's always going to just be this. Whatever it is. Whatever we're drinking. It's the best cocktail of the day. Day one. Day one cocktail. <laughs> I give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Three thumbs up. <laughs> so much I liked it. Oh, we did have two different cocktails. Yeah. That's okay. Funny. Okay. But it, yeah, we could we could do that. Yeah. We could do whatever we want. Okay. Um, and then of course, which we did every day, but that was day one. Um Uno. But what we did every day, which again, we maybe we should have said first, maybe we should have said last, save for the best for last. Doesn't matter. But we had happy hour right on our our on the Airbnb property on the beach. Jose. Thanks to Jose. Jose. Shout out Jose. Cheers to Jose, buddy. My brother. Yeah. My uh, brother. My Belizean brother. He, yeah. He he treated us treated us great. Jose and his beautiful family. So hey, Jose had happy hour every day, and he would bring his uh, ladder. He would go to a coconut tree, climb up, chop down fresh coconuts, chop off one side to flatten it, the other side. The coconut fresh. That heavy. I'll help you. There we go. That's a lot. Well, we chopped them off once too. Curved up. We'll get into that. Curved it up. Tipped it off. You take a drink of coconut water out and then poured rum in. Fresh coconut rum and coconut water and rum. Happy hour every day. Or if you're not a drunk, just coconut water. Nobody's offended if you just do the coconut water. It's that, good that's for true. you. That's true. It's refreshing. Oh, it was really good. I don't the, understand why, but it, well, I don't either. But it was really good the day with ice when yeah. it was ice cold. Holy shit! I think I might have been the only one who had happy hour that day. Uh, maybe because you guys were climbing. That was a day, and Leah was getting rubbed. <laughs> She's got to go to Belize to get satisfied. Oh, that's fine. With someone else. Yeah, that's cool. You do what you got to do. So that we'll go. We'll I took her there, didn't I? We're going to do flashback. Flashback. Highlight. Um, Mind Ruins, which I went through. Untamed. I, I can't second this. Please. Don't. You didn't come along. That's fine. Um, But we same place that shuttled us back. You know what I did? Untamed, please. Fine. You, you're doing. He's doing the same thing he did there. We went to the Mind Ruins, which was an awesome trip. Three hours. Ricky gave us a lot of lot of information. Went through different cities. Um, we asked for him. Ricky. And it was beautiful. It was just absolutely beautiful. And he got us there in time. Went to the top. Oh, Ricky, you're so fine. 
looked around it was in, in great great history he gave us a great story of how uh, it was one of the fun places where we went into the bloodletting shed what is a bloodletting shed well when the common folks when they had a sacrifice to the gods which they had sun gods and wind gods and um rain gods and everything that they would bring them in and bloodletting and they it was like a obviously just a pit but in the middle was like a stone so they put the head on and and then just let the blood yeah it was fun what? Well, you gotta sacrifice to the gods. That shit is real. Yeah, they had a bloodletting room. How didn't everybody not go to prison for murder? Well, when it's part of the culture, how do you go to? Why would you go to prison? That's what you do. You sacrifice to the gods. Do you have um? Do we have a footage of the cocktail of the day from the Mayan ruins? Did we drink some of the bloodletting? I did, but they wouldn't let me film it. It was the best Bloody Mary I ever had. Famous. I'm like, oh. Speaking of which, not Bloody Mary, but um, Malula. We'll go back to just if you're there, they make an excellent Mich Michel Michel. Oh, what was that? Michel Michelita Michelada. It's tomato juice and I spices know. and beer. It's kind of like a Bloody Mary, but it's got beer. It's Bloody it's Mary a, mixed with beer. It's a beer. It's a bloody beer. Well, there's no bloody vodka, beer. right? So it's beer instead of that. Yeah, but you said a Bloody Mary mixed with beer, but it's not. It's it's a Bloody Belize with beer. It's a Bloody it's a bloody Belize beer. Something like that. With spicy. We're off track. That didn't even make it to cocktail of the day, so I don't know why I brought it up. No, but because uh, I don't. I didn't have one. You didn't have one, but Lee. I had a, I had a drink of it. Yeah. It was but, very good. Yeah. So, but she, I made just, the, she made the best ones. I just want people who go to Placencia, Belize, to go to Malula. Because you seek it out, it's worth it. It's just a beautiful place. It is next year when I'm there, I will be there every single day, <laughs> at least once. I mean, not at least once, I'll be there every single day once because it's a beautiful little spot right on the beach. The breeze hitting it's and the puppies were so cute. So, and the birds and the seagulls, they were just walking up and down the beach. It was, it was terrific. So, that was a that was another cocktail of the day, which is terrific. Now, Aside from all the places we visited, which did we leave a spot to too many that I, we could? What's that? Did we leave a spot here for the video with Jose? Was that when you went? No, that was a flashback. But um, then, yeah, we we will we'll, we'll yep. This is the video of him cutting the mohi the coconuts for the rum and coconut. Oh, we are recording now. Here we are. Okay. Cool. Day one. Day one. Day one of our trip. <laughs> Cocktail of the day today, fresh pineapple juice with a little uh, coconut rum made by our pineapple. bartender at Jose's Happy Hour. Pineapple juice? How, do we, <laughs> how are we getting pineapple juice out of a coconut? Did I say pineapple juice? This is why you're not allowed to talk. <laughs> <laughs> do you believe me if I told you this was a pineapple? Here, here I'll record like this, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No Fresh way. coconut milk water. Check your mistakes. <laughs> That's fine. Fresh coconut water. And what do we got for? Jose went up the tree. This is got the coconut down. Local. Chopped it off. We chopped That's a couple. Local. Not all yeah, of them, though. We chopped her down. Nice. Fresh coconut nice. water with the little coconut you, rum. You hear what Jose said? No. Local rum. Yeah. Local rum. Old master. Is that the best? Yeah, this is the best okay. for you to drink with your um, coconut water as well. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. All right. And how much coconut rum do you suggest putting in a coconut? All of it. All of it. It's the best <laughs> if you want. All of it. <laughs> but then the coconut, whenever you peel the coconut at first, is the happiest coconut. <laughs> but whenever you put the booster, the specialty, the combines of the, co of the rum for the coconut, this is the man, this is the woman, <laughs> the man will make the lady so crazy. So then it will call the Coco Loco. Coco we will Loco. say that way, not loca. Coco <laughs> Loco. Coco it will be the Coco Loco because they will make together as well. <laughs> they go together perfectly. <laughs> yeah, and then they will be voted together and be happy together and get crazy. Together. <laughs> Well, cheers, folks. Cheers. Cocktail of the day. Thank you, Jose. Thank you for joining no us for problem. Cocktail of the Day. Here we are. Day one. We'll see where we get tomorrow. 
happy hour. Perfect. Yes. Yes. God, we're good at this. Um. So we've we been, couldn't. We we've couldn't, been doing this for three years. We couldn't have had. We we visited so many places. It's like we've been doing it for three days. <laughs> but every night, we ended the evening in the pool naked. with a cocktail, naked, hanging out, naked. It was a beautiful place, naked, naked with yeah. a drink. Very and nice. so we did have uh, one of those by the pool with our rum and coke. Belizean rum. What was yeah. the brand? What's the brand of rum that you bought? It was. Um, it's their. It's their rum. Fuck. Travelers. Travelers rum. There Travelers rum. Yeah. One delicious. year, three year, five year, but it was good rum. Yeah, it was delicious yeah. rum. Yeah. And so we always had that with some rum and coke or rum. And we had a couple with rum and uh, juices because they had mm-hmm. fresh juice over there, which was delicious as well. Oh. But uh, it, seemed, it seemed like the cokes were at night. The cokes come out not at the night. Co- not the cocaine, the mom. Come out at mom, night. not the cocaine. The cokes come. Oh. So that was uh, one coke of the clips that we did from the pool. Play it now. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's weird. Look at that. <laughs> and it, uh, and sometime, it. Yeah, I'll throw it on the fucking G string in a minute, but whatever. Oh. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! Day one! Cocktail of the day! Cocktail of the day! What you got? Rum, rum and Coke, <laughs> but it's Belizean rum. It's Belizean rum, and I am Belizean naked. <laughs> just hold on just a Belizean second, and let me think about that for a second. There it is. There is the proof. Proof! Proof is in the pudding. Right, pudding? Cocktail of the day. We got maybe, not, maybe not the first cocktail of the day, it's, but the best. It's the cocktail of the day. Day one. Here we are in our pool. He really just wants to show his wiener on on the camera. Is what I think is what he's trying to do. The water's cold. But this is our little swimming thing for oh, the next good. for the next. How many days are we here? This is day one. This so day how many one, more days we have? Five days, six days. We have another day. six days know. of this. So here it is. Cocktail of the day. Oh, by Easy the way, and rum and coke. We just say that Chef G's. Oh, Love you. Jeez. I'm pretty. I I came. Did you come? <laughs> and we're back. And uh, that was great because um, that was we didn't we obviously we didn't do every night, but that was a night one. Night one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to we forgot to remember that. Yeah, Malula, night one. Malula was day one. Yep, Malula was day one. Jose Happy Hour was day, day one. one. What did Jose? What did Jose call his? He had a name for his bar. Jose's happy hour. Was it just no? I thought I thought he. Oh, Jose, comment. Tell us. He'll he'll watch. Yeah, we appreciate it. Comment. I sent you the video. We're gonna play. We're gonna we're gonna put it in again. But oh. um, he did a great job, and they were delicious. Is that all our cocktails of the day? No, we had a. Oh. Well, well, obviously we had to go to Inksy's. Oh, I thought we already talked about Inksy's. Well, we talked about it, but we have, we didn't have the intro to Inksy's and the toasted blended mojito. Toasted. Which we blended. discussed, and we will implement that okay. video for the toasted blended mojito, which was delicious. And I don't, I'm not a huge mojito guy. I'm not a huge coconut guy. And I'm not a huge coconut guy as myself, but those are so fucking good. And it's definitely uh, traveler's, traveler's advice. It is definitely. The not traveler's rum. Traveler's advice. It's different. Travel, traveler's advice. I always drink traveler's rum. Other traveler's advice. Order the toasted coconut mojito, not just the normal coconut mojito. Toasted coconut is better. It's creamier for some reason. It is. I think it's because it's I jizzed every time. Because I, I made it. Yeah. So we're going to have that clip in, right? Well, you, you say when you're ready to go. Say what? Mr. Sickle. I am. I'm not sick. I am. Bathed in heat. Yeah. What? Why? Because the light. Why? Is... But then my hair should. Oh, okay. My hair looks good right now. <laughs> well, yeah. Welcome back. How's it look? Day one. Day one cocktail. Cocktail of the day. Day one. It's been day one for 
the old uh, quite a while now toasted coconut, coconut nut at Inksy's frozen. <laughs> oh, he's finally getting it. Inkies. We gotta get that. Finally name understands. Right. Inkies. Inkies. Name right. Inkies. Blended mojito. Inkies. There we go. How is that? This is one of the best of the trip. This is a. We have not. We are trying to record something here. It's all golden. She says they both have cankles. Fernando. God damn it. Anyway. I'm thinking after this trip, the producer's getting fired. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to keep him on any longer. Cocktail of the day, day one. Day one cocktail. This is delicious. Please. Come on out. Bye. Frozen cocktail. Oh, bye. D you decide in the cankles. Bye. Oh, God. Don't show <laughs> And that was delicious. So that's the, that was one of the greatest things. For anybody who just watched that clip, I apologize. I was a little under the weather that evening. I was a little overheated by then. I mean, it was only day one, night one. But it happens that first time. I was a little overheated. And everywhere I went, I was... Uh, so I faked it for you in that video. And if it didn't shine through, I apologize. But he's a professional, so he shine through. Professional. And it was delicious. Fashion. I mean, I wasn't that blend of mojito would cool you off. Well, I, yeah, I had to rub it. I had to dump it over my head and rub the glass on my forehead. And that was the only way. And then order a second one. And then order a second one, yeah. That was the only, I could have probably should have gone with a nice glass of, glass of water, but it <laughs> would have made more sense. But yeah. So, and then we wrapped it up. But I, I, we didn't. Oh, no, we didn't wrap it up. Are we wrapped up already? No, we no, no. One. <laughs> we were there We're for not going to wrap it up. Days. We're not going to wrap it up. I said, but we cannot wrap it up without going back to. They will be, well, we'll put up, we're not going to put a video, but we'll put a picture right here. Of our wonderful um, dinner and drinks, which was the Bellican beer at Chef G's. Finger food delights. Wait, hold, now, on. hold, no, on. No, no. hold on. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Moment of silence. Moment of silence. No, you can't do. Moment. Do you only do moment of silence when somebody is no longer? I want to. How about just we a, can we we don't have to do a moment of silence. But we can just do, do a praise. How about just a shout out of what well, we, we can let it be like, How do we like the food? Uh, More than that. Uh, yeah. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. That's so uh, FG buddy. I've had uh, I've had chicken wings since we got back from Belize. That. You don't know what you are. You don't know a chicken wing. You haven't had wing, a chicken wing. Chicken wing until you went to Chef G's. Oh, it's so different. It is. The chicken is delicious and so pure. Yeah. I mean, I've had I had other chicken wings over there were pure, but oh, that's Chef soft. G's soft. Uh -oh. uh, and I could drink that stuff. Uh, you you drank Chef G's sauce? What? We're close. Leave us alone. Um. And 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 finger food delights. You lost up. me now. Finger <laughs> delights. Wow. Um, is it last Chef G owns finger food delights and Hassan and Hassan is his best friend, which was a, such a pleasure meeting him this year. Yeah, we we didn't meet him last year. No, but gosh, what a story they had. Um, yeah, those guys are great. Um, could, could sit and talk to those guys forever. But Hassan had to run the bingo coming up. Dominoes. Oh, I thought it was bingo. No, it was bingo. Well, he's bing he does bingo, but Domino's happens a lot there. Domino's does, but he runs a bingo game every night at like 9.30, he said. Yep, that's true. So, that's true. That's just, true. You're right. You're right. So he was, he was, we were there. It was like quarter after nine. He was like, I got to get set up for bingo. So otherwise. We'll get your asses out of here. We could have sat and talked to them all night. No, they're just two great dudes. Um, and we ran into Chef G. Um, multiple times. Multiple times. And we had a drink with him at Inksy's. Um because he was out. Did he have a toasted blend? He did not. Oh. He did not. He's like, you fucking losers. You, tra <laughs> you touristy. He's like, losers. Traveler's rum rocks. I don't even know what he had. Which he he had a, he had a day out with his wife. Well deserved. Wait, 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 wait. He had a day out with his wife. Off. Because she made him. <laughs> <laughs> sorry if I'm sorry if I'm putting you on blast, chef. But. She said we need a day out, and when, yeah. when Mama says take the day off and, and treat me all day, because if you're Jesus, smart man, and he says okay, baby. If you remember right, 
Chef G invited us to his restaurant that evening, mm-hmm. and he wasn't there. So we're gonna have to call you out a little bit on that. And then we ran into him and found out why. And now, then we went, "Oh, okay." Happy now life, that, happy that life. Was another night too, but that was our fault too because it did say Wednesday through Sunday, and we went on a Tuesday. When we showed up, it did say Wednesday through Sunday. It did on the thing, yeah. Oh, sorry, Chef G. But we just showed up because we wanted to eat, and they were playing dominoes, and they're. Yeah, they, they're like, they were like, why are you uh, here? Wait. Everybody knows we're closed. We're like, we want to eat, Chef G. Well, he's not here. We're here playing dominoes. Well, go get him. Yeah. Hassan wasn't the one who kicked us out. It was somebody else. And, someone then, else. and then we met, we ran, he would, came up and said hi when we were having dinner. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're all good dudes and good freaking eat that every night. And they're uh, everything about it. Their plantains were delicious. And um, he made a, just said, not in the menus. So he really doesn't have a menu. He just has a, the wings and then some fish dinners that whatever is caught that day that they bring in and then he makes something with it. And that's what's on his menu. And thank goodness for me that he, he has the wings. Lot, he had lobster. Oh, that was one of them. Yeah, there was a lobster dish. And we just said, we need one vegetarian Never. meal. And he just came up with something. And it was delicious. Yeah. I tried it and it was delicious. Yeah. So. But sure. how cool is it to go to a restaurant with no menu? Yep. Hassan just said, "Do you want wings? Do you want lobster? Do you want snapper?" Or Boom. I don't remember. I think it was only three, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay, yeah. There it is, because that's what's fresh. So today. you don't know if you order the lobster, you don't know. Like last year, I had the lobster, and it was a lobster pasta. Well, that's right. Yep, yep, fucking yep. amazing. Yep. But then you're jealous because the, the wings were delicious. Yeah, but then I went back for lunch right, the next right. day or two days later, or something, which we were going to do this year, and we never fucking did. <laughs> feisty about that yeah i know well fucking feisty oh we could i eat many many times Jeez. yeah shout out buddy we also shout out let's not forget in oh what's it called the pizzeria at turtle inn at turtle inn which we went to for our anniversary yeah, anniversary dinner that's where we celebrated the day we got married last year and uh, we went back for, well, we tried to go back the night before and <laughs> got kicked out of there as well. We are riffraff. Um, we get kicked out a lot. Yeah, we get kicked out of a lot of places. Well, that's the beauty of the place is it's it's eight seats. limited seating right in front of you, right by the garden. It's beautiful. We could have gone inside at eight, but it, it's just it's just really a neat atmosphere. So, so we had dinner with Francis Ford and so so is <laughs> it so Sophia or Sophie? Sophia. Cool. I knew that. Sophia. It is. Yeah, they it's their well, it's his restaurant, I guess. But well, it's his turtle inn. It's his freaking coastline. I think it's his if country. You look, if you look, all that fencing, it shows you where it starts and end. It's a lot of he it. He owns and then he owns the other side too, whereas um been, people stay that work there and I've been looking at land. And uh his helicopter is to bring him in. Yeah. I've been I've been looking at Yeah. It. Yeah. By Francis, is this place can't afford it. Anyway, but he's got a couple islands too. So if you ever look it up, you could stay at his island for nights. Either way, go to the boat next don't... next year. We're going in to that freaking feast on a Tuesday or Thursday. Oh, that's right. Yes, yeah. I'm oh. down. Yeah, I I, th- I don't don't I know there was Dutch involved. I don't know what else was. Well, there was a lot of Indian cuisine. And okay, yeah, it was like a it was a list of it looked delicious. And they just bring it out, and you just eat, and it, it looked amazing. But yeah, we but get... still the the bruschetta to me was the best bruschetta I've ever had. It is good. It's yeah, damn good. Everything it was delicious. Everything's fresh, straight. Like you said, straight out of the fucking garden. That's right behind you. The tomatoes on your bruschetta, you could go pick them yourself. So it's a fucking amazing experience. And I don't think we took any pictures or have any video or no video, but. I, mean, I got a few pictures of the garden again. Oh, okay. But not of us. So we we're just enjoying. And cocktail that day was just Francis's wine. wine. But I do have a, um, we'll find a picture to put right here. A lot of wine. <laughs> a lot of red wine. I do like his wine. He does, yes. No, he does not. And I, he does not want it. Well, but there wasn't a Belizean wine just for his place over there. But I didn't care. I, it it seemed funny. like you cared. You nearly punched that guy for not having one. That was me that what? Oh, well, she should have. He kicked us out the night before. He was fun. Yeah, he did kick us out. I know he was, he was fun, but I got nothing. But the next day he was 
If, yeah. Jabber box jam. Yeah. <laughs> he knows now. Next year when cocktails with dimples will and the beer walks up. He'll clear the people out. Get fucking people out of here. He'll be like, your dinner's done. Here you go. To go, got, to go box for you. Let's see it. We, we need to clear this. Get these out of here. Oh, shit. Is that it? Is that a recap of our entire trip? It sounds like all we did was go there and drink. And eat. And eat. Oh, that's all we did. We do have another video to throw in there. Wait, we do? But there was... Do, 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 do. That, we, I mean, we... Uh, Humped? We we did a lot of humping. Um, we hunted for gib nuts. We did look for gib nuts. We, we asked around about gib nuts. We did try and get some gib nuts. We had some good food elsewhere, but um, Wendy's. Wendy's not, was delicious. Not Wendy's, the fast food restaurant. There's no Wendy's in and Placentia. When, Wendy's there's a Wendy's. They used to specialize in gib nuts. They did. well, but they, yes. but it was when they were a, a when the hunters would bring them in, and then I think it got outlawed after that. Yeah, they they specialized in gib nuts in the fifties, <laughs> something like that. I don't know. It, what, that was a week before, but what it might have been, I don't know. The happiest little mistake that I've never had that happen to me, where I, I'm at a restaurant and and they bring me the complete wrong order, <laughs> and uh, it, it came to a different table. And you're like, my... but this is what they ordered, yeah. <laughs> and and I because because I'm a I don't I like yes it, it, this looks good as well, so I'll, of course I will eat this. And a happy little mistake. I got one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. Yeah. yeah. And you, I wouldn't have had it if I would have been one of them whiny little Karen bitches who was like, no, give me my vegan. Blah, blah, blah. So. Because you never know. But it, there was so much that looked good. So, yeah. Everything on the menu looked good. Yeah. Everything on every menu looked good. They did. So. And there's so many places that we still haven't gone and would like to still eat at. Oh, yeah. Then the, the la our last dinner at Rum. Oh, rum oh, oh, oh rum bombs. Hot I would. I would. It was delicious. I think. I think my wife would kick me in the back of the head if I didn't mention their lobster Good curry. Call. Your call, because she did love her meal. Yeah, and she literally. And I have video of this. <laughs> She's gonna kill me, but I have video of this. She drank the curry. <laughs> right here. Mm. Worth it. So bad. Sorry. <laughs> Give me an addition. <laughs> That's how good it was, though. Yeah. Yeah. She's not going to like that. <laughs> better, not, better not let her be around while I'm editing this one. <laughs> you need to see that one. Yeah. yeah. We'll get that. And in then there. just show her after. And yeah. I'll be, well, I won't even show her. Eventually, she'll come home. And be, I'll be like, if she never gives me shit about it, I'll be like, see, you don't watch our fucking episodes. That's so, true. That's true. Yeah. Hopefully one of her friends rats her out or something, rats me out. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. So yeah, we'll but that was uh not the, the normal fajitas. No. When we ordered them. Everything... But it was it was which which again, I'm glad it wasn't. Yeah. And remember I'm me saying I'm like, this fucking salsa is the best salsa I've ever had in my life. Yeah, you sounded a lot like Carl. Yeah. Carl. Carl you over there. But it was so good. And their sour cream was just pure, but that meat is just well, it's, it's just meat. It's not full of the fucking shit we pump into them. And for um, me, the tortillas are so much better. So much better. We we had I mean, I when we were done, I just the rest of that cell side, I just ate the rest of it. It was it had the greatest flavor. Yeah. Leah Leah made quesadillas pretty much every morning with eggs from their grocery store and tortillas from their fresh tortillas and all this stuff. And uh so delicious. We I, this weekend I had her make uh a tortilla here or a quesadilla here. <laughs> like, fuck. I'm like, I know by like June, I'll be like, okay, this is good. But right now, you picked it up on it. The shit. What do you give me a shit bar? Yeah, I beat her. Uh, <laughs> I didn't go. It's her with the tortilla. Oh, I like, man, I threw the tortilla at her. No, she won't do the tortilla thing. I mean, it's a wall, but I want to be. I want to do that tortilla slap challenge. We got, we should do that on one of our episodes. That's right. Fucking. Oh, uh, yeah. I will think about that. So it's great to be back. And but we got but there was one last oh, shit. There was a day. It was during the day okay. that we were day drinking. We were shopping okay. to a point and we were but that we were grabbing cocktails. I was we went and as we were leaving. Well, you don't. Yeah, you don't do anything there without a cocktail. You don't have a cocktail or a hand or a <laughs> or a puff 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 mm. puff. Um, and then we did. The old, which was a reliable from last year, which is a little more touristy, but the tipsy tuna. 
Oh, still, and, still a nice place. So and Big Titty Rum and Big Titty Rum is always a staple. Big Titty Rum Bar because the guy who we owns should have done one from there, but we didn't. The but. guy who owns that is from Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So I don't think he was there at all, but the guy who owns that is from Milwaukee. There you go. So also right believe Big Titty Rum, and they have several flavors and great menu of different flavors. Also, be remiss if we did not mention, since we're fucking hanging on his rafters, the Flying Pig. So. We weren't there as much as we... All right, back up with the Flying Pig. We got to do our video for the Tipsy Tuna in front of the Tipsy Tuna. We're going to play right here. Cocktail of the day, day one. Day one cocktail. Here we are. We just got off. Uh, you see the yacht in the background? <laughs> got to pull up. Pull up to the Tipsy Tuna. Tipsy Tuna. They have our special event going on tonight on day one. Closed for a private event. We're live broadcasting live. The Tipsy cocktail Tuna. Today is the Rum Punch. Is that what we're having? It is. Rum punch. It's been the cocktail. Oh, wait, it's day one. Never day mind. One, Hasn't been the cocktail, cocktail of the day yet. Has yet been, but that's why it's day one. So we're drinking up. We're walking. We're drinking. We're walking. We're get, catching rays. We're drinking. We're walking. We're getting rays and burnt, hopefully. No, we got to be burnt. Miserable. Got um, all, not on day one. It's day one. We got a whole week ahead of us, buddy. Not on day one. Cheers. Cheers. Day one. Rum punch. And then. A visit to the flying pig. Absolutely. Yes. No video from there, but buddy, shout out. You have her t shirt hanging. Thank you. I appreciate our sticker in your on your bar. So right. Thank you for not taking our sticker down, even though we defaced your bar with it. <laughs> you did. Yeah. He did. Which I do have a picture of me in front of that sticker, but we'll put right here. Got a secret surprise left in the cabin, by the way. In the cabin? Yeah. We hit a little something, something. Shh, don't tell him. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't get too deep but into it. But once he flushes, it'll be gone. Oh, well, no? Not, not my fault that toilet won't flush. We'll see right now. Okay. <sighs> yeah, there you go. I mean, so what a trip. Another fun trip. Another six days. Went too fast. I don't need to talk about the trip home. It sucked. It was rough. We got we left Belize and it was ninety degrees. We got here and it was minus 100, nine. A hundred degree shift. Yeah, because we came it's back good negative. Insane. Hundred degree shift. That's crazy. Yeah, That's it's been crazy. rough getting used to. We've been back a week, but it 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 to be able to say that that we went from in the same day ninety to negative ten. Yeah, was crazy, yeah. but. It, yeah, that's what you do when you live in Wisconsin. That's what you do. You go home to scrape windows with a umbrella because they don't have a scraper Shh. in their car. <laughs> Little <laughs> advice, buddy. <laughs> don't put pictures or videos of your woman drinking curry on the internet. Oh, well, we're gonna. Kind of the same thing is don't blast your woman about her umbrella scraper. I demolished it. I ordered a new one because it's fucking totaled. You are a new scraper or a new umbrella? A new umbrella. Okay. Because <laughs> it's totaled. All the are just bent because you're pushing snow off as I'm scraping with the handle and I'm pushing it off and things are, all the wires are hanging all over. I'm like, ah, not my fault, but it's I'm not, not I, I, it is what it is. I'm not knocking it. I just sounds like you are. That's what you do when you go from one degree shift or you smoke another bowl. That's what we're gonna do because I get show that pipe. That's fuck. Yeah, that's a great. I'm not gonna be you. This is a nice little pipe. It's got a little Rasta man. Turn to the side. Okay. Show the people. You can't you can't oh. really see it. I'm not getting up to do the camera thing. It's going to sit here. If you see an episode where this is not sitting here, that means we filmed it before this because that will never not mm. be there mm. this is now a set decoration got it i love this thing i did it's cool it's cool i don't really smoke out of a pipe all that often pens make weed so much easier so i don't really smoke out of a pipe all that often but when i do i will be using this bad boy right in front it says bleeds it does say bleeds. Bleeds. yeah i'll get my Stuff away to the family. Are we done? That I brought back, and uh, we... we're home. And then we just got to sulk till next year. Until next year. 
three years in a row. I'm not sulking. I'm okay. I would. I, I my. I know that my future holds a lot of Belize, so I'm okay. I'm good. You gotta. I gotta. I gotta do what I gotta do to make sure that I can get there longer and more and more and more. And yeah, yeah, Daddy. Oh, okay. We'll just kind of cut him <laughs> off real quick and just just end this thing as can we, we go with a, with another token. Well, um, welcome back, but we're here. We're here. And that's all we got. Have a good one. Thank you for listening. The tavern is closed for now, but we'd love to have you back for more fun next time. Seriously, though, get your asses out of here. <laughs>